if you're trying to figure out how to set up the Go High Level sub account API to create sub accounts on autopilot, I'm going to cover that in this video. So here's my um, onboarding scenario in Integromat. I used to use Zapier, now I'm in Integromat. I will show you how to set up in Zapier too. But uh, essentially, this module right here, let me zoom right in, is the one uh, that we're going to use to create the sub account. Okay, so what you need to do is first create HTTP requests. So you're gonna, what you do is you click on this module like this, make a request. What you're going to do is paste in this URL. So it's HTTPS, rest, go high level .com slash v1 slash locations the method you want to choose is post and then you're going to add two headers okay the first one would be first one the name is going to be authorization the value is going to be bearer space and then you want to put in your agency api key you can see i have a variable here um just to make it easy i just use this here and i paste in my agency api key there and it'll pull it in but if you're just doing this on your own, you can do bearer space, then your agency API key. And then content type is a second header you want to add in. So name would be content dash type value application slash JSON. Then you want to scroll down. Body types could be raw. Content types could be JSON. And then you want to paste this code. And I'll link, I'll, I'll put this in the description below. Uh, but you can also find it in the Go High Level uh, developer documents. So here I am in the Go High Level API documentation, and we're going to use the post to create a location. And here's all the fields that you need. Okay, actually, that's it. This is all the stuff that you need to create the sub account. And on the right, they actually give you an example of what that looks like. So you could literally copy and paste this right after that little that little uh, quotation mark thingy right there. From that first squilly bracket all the way down to the last squilly bracket copy all of that and then what you could do is paste it right in here and then fill in your information now obviously what you want to do is put in the dynamic fields or map these fields from your onboarding form which should be that first module right so you'll use a webhook to uh, when someone creates or fills out the onboarding form within high level, you want to execute that webhook. So you'll have a workflow with a webhook action step on there. You put the URL from Integromat in that webhook action URL. It'll shoot that information over here. And then you're going to map all this data just like I should have it here um, in this code. And then what you need to do is enter your snapshot ID. And that's it. You're done. Make sure you also check this parse button uh, for response and then you're good to go. So the snapshot ID, I do have another video that shows you where to find the snapshot ID. I'll link to it above so you can grab that. Uh, but that's how you would configure the API. Now let's jump over to Zapier and I'll show you how to set this up in Zapier. So Zapier, um, what you want to do is click on create GHL sub account. Or I'm sorry, you want to create an action. It's going to be webhooks by zapier you want to use a custom request i saw some of you trying to use a post and then you know put in the the, the preset fields in there and run into some issues so we're going to use a custom request in this case then we're going to set up the actions going to be the same thing methods could be post you put that same url we're going to put that in there data password is going to be false copy and paste all of this put it in here and then map the fields to the fields from your that you receive from your onboarding form and then you're going to enter your snapshot ID uh, over there as well. On flatten will be yes. Basic authorization is blank. And then headers, you're going to add two, two lines here. One is going to be authorization bearer space and then your agency API key. And then content dash type. And then the content type is application slash JSON. Um, that's it. And then that's all you really need to generate a sub account with your um, go high level API key. If you want to learn how to set this all up, I have a video that walks through my entire client onboarding process from getting the contracts out, taking payment, and what have you. I'll link to that video above here. In that video, I'm using Zapier. I'm going to create a new video 
which shows how uh, I do it all in Integromat. I did make some changes uh, in this Integromat um, scenario. I'm configuring the mailgun, DNS settings, the domains, and all that kind of stuff. Custom values are all updated, all in this scenario. So go ahead, check out that other video on my complete onboarding process. I got some goodies for you in there with templates and everything. If this helped you, go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and make sure you turn on notifications for more videos to help you automate and scale your marketing agency. Let me know in the comments below, what are some of the things that you're doing in your client onboarding process? And if you watch that video, you'll see how you can take your onboarding from seven days to 15 minutes. I'll talk to you in the next video.